up what it do welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Casey and if you are new take a second go down below hit that subscribe button and click that little bell button so you'll never miss when I upload a new video so today we're going to be talking about some hygiene tips a lot of these tips may seem very basic but I know there are some things that some people just don't know or there's some products that you might not already know of so hopefully by the end of this video you'll be confident in knowing that you have the right tips and you have the right techniques and the right products to stay fresh all day. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so first things first, the best thing that you can do to stay fresh all day is to prevent odor in the first place. This might seem very basic, but take a shower. But not only that, take a shower and use really good products. Even though some products might smell good, it does not necessarily mean that they are properly cleansing your skin getting rid of bacteria and preventing odor the right way. I really love this body wash from Ren Pure. It's actually a plant-based body wash and it has tea tree and mint in it. It has all natural ingredients, but tea tree oil is very good for antibacterial, antifungal, and just getting rid of odor in general. Plus, I love using body washes that have mint and tea tree or like eucalyptus scents in them anyway because it just makes me already feel more refreshed. It gives you that really like cleanse and squeaky clean feeling, but it doesn't have like any harsh soaps that might dry out your skin. I also really like this shower gel from Lush. It is the Olive Branch shower gel. This shower gel does have sulfate in it, but it doesn't feel drying on the skin at all. Actually, it feels very uplifting and it smells really good too. It also has bergamot and lemon oil in it, which are both very good for antibacterial and antifungal properties. It also has fresh mandarin juice, so that's really good for brightening your skin. And it just smells, it smells so fresh. Like, also, if you guys watch my shower routine videos, then you know that I love to use an African body sponge to cleanse my skin rather than using a washcloth or using a loafah. This thing makes my skin feel so good and it's not rough on the skin but it feels more exfoliating on the skin so it really makes you feel like you're properly cleansing i'm just like rubbing it right now thinking about how good it feels in my shower <laughs> and because it is an exfoliating sponge it does help to smooth and soften your skin so not only are you cleansing properly but you're also getting rid of dead skin which allows your other skincare products to work a lot better so i highly recommend using an african sponge plus it's like super long so you can go around your back and like cleanse the right way because not everyone cleanses their back, which is gross. <laughs> but with this, you can get every part of your body, your back, your neck. And that's another like very basic tip too. Like make sure you're cleaning everything, everything. Clean the back of your kneecaps, clean under your elbow, clean under your boobs. Get every little crevice because everything on your body produces sweat. So don't forget about all the small areas on your body as well. Another very good body product that I love is the Honey Pot Normal Foaming Feminine Wash. You guys see me post this on Instagram, on all of my videos, like this is Bay. Their old formula was actually 99% natural, but their new formula is 100% natural. It's pH balanced, cruelty free, sulfate free. Um, and it's just very good for maintaining proper pH balance, you know, on your little girl down there. It's a very common misconception that, you know, the entire part of your cookie cleanses itself, which is not true, only the inside does. But the outside can harbor bacteria, it can cause tons of problems. And don't get me wrong, it's totally safe and okay to just use water to cleanse down there. For me personally, this just makes me feel 10 times cleaner. Everyone has a natural odor, a natural smell down there, but this can also really help to regulate that smell. So it's more like a neutral scent and not a strong scent if you have one. Some of the main ingredients are oats, vinegar, and coconut, and it's just balm. Like I've been using this for a very long time. I have not experienced any irritation, any problems. It's amazing. <laughs> Another very basic tip, deodorant now depending how old you are of course there's deodorants for all age types i don't even know if they still sell teen spirit but i started using teen spirit when i was like 13 years old you guys know my favorite deodorant of all time is donna karen this is the cashmere mist deodorant it's antiperspirant um and it literally lasts me all day and honestly i sweat a lot so this really does help me if you are against aluminum or antiperspirants or whatever the case may be you just prefer like natural deodorants um pharmacy has a really good all natural deodorant i was using this for a while and i did like it but i just felt like i needed something stronger so i stopped using it of course there's other all natural alternatives that may work better i just 
kind of gave up on experimenting on all natural deodorants and I don't have any problems with this or any other, you know, deodorants that aren't necessarily natural. So I'm okay with this. But like I said, if you're skin sensitive or if you don't like um, deodorants with ingredients or chemicals in them, Pharmacy has a really good all natural deodorant and it smells really good too. I think this one's actually almost gone because I used it for a while, but like I said, I just felt like I needed something stronger. With this one, I have to apply it multiple times throughout the day. With this one, I apply it in the morning and then at night and then that's it, you know? So yeah, another major key is to wear deodorant. So yeah, now you can leave the house and you feel good and you feel fresh. So of course you want to maintain that throughout the day. I don't know about you guys, but I love perfume. Like, perfume is actually a part of like my beauty prep routine. I do not leave the house without applying perfume. So I want to thank Scent Bird for partnering with me on this video. If you've been following me for a while, then you have seen me mention Scent Bird on my channel tons of times. And that's because I really do use it and I really do love it. Scent Bird is basically a monthly subscription service where you get to try different perfume scents every month. The best part is that they come in these little travel size tubes. So they're super easy to take on the go. This month I got three fragrances, so I'm super excited. Scentbird has over like 500 different fragrances that you can choose from. After you choose which fragrances you want, they get sent straight to you, free shipping. And every month you have the option to either get a new fragrance or you can skip that month if you're loving that month's fragrance and then continue on whenever you want. Or you can cancel whenever you want to, so you're never stuck to you know getting a new product every month if you don't want to. So this is what the tubes look like. Basically all you have to do when you hold it is twist it, pull it out, and then there's your scents. The three scents I got this month are Beach Hut Woman, Velvet Roach, and Vanilla Apricot. I'll put all the links to the ones that I got down below. I always usually pick scents that are like, not natural, but very like lightweight, floral, like every day, because like I said, I wear perfume every single day. One way that I actually like to make sure that my fragrance stays put all day is by actually taking some Vaseline and I put it on wherever I'm going to put the perfume. So I'll put it like on my wrist and then I'll put it also like on my little decollete area. And then I'll take the fragrance and then I'll spray it. And the Vaseline actually helps to absorb the scent. So it stays there all day. Oh my God, this smells so good. <laughs> One thing though about perfumes or body sprays is that you don't want to spray it on already dirty skin or an already smelly body, you know what I'm saying? So that's why my first tip was to make sure that you're already fresh so that way when you're putting on perfumes on top of it, you're not putting it over top of odor, you're putting it on top of a clean, fresh slate, you know? Because perfume and body odor together, not cute. I hate when I hear people say that they refresh throughout the day by putting on body spray. Like, you're just gonna put body spray over top of odor? Like, that's gross. However, if you do wanna try Scentbird, I will put a little coupon code in my description box down below. They have brands like Versace, Prada, Bulgari. They even have like more smaller niche brands like Glossier. And I perfume, I perfume. I prefer perfumes over body sprays just because the smell is just stronger. It stays more put throughout the day. Body sprays to me just don't do the trick all the time. So if you're new to perfumes or if you wanna try out some new ones, I highly recommend Scentbird. Plus, I just love how they come in these little travel size things so they're really easy to slip into my purse just in case I do need to refresh throughout the day. So I always like to take some to-go wipes not only when I'm on my period, I take them all the time, but especially when it's that time of the month because they're very small. These are from the brand Good Wipes and these are like all natural, hypoallergenic, biodegradable. I really only use natural products down there. I do not use like regular brands. Y'all know the ones I'm talking about. I don't use those. I only use and recommend natural products that are down there because obviously that area is very sensitive. But yeah, these are from the brand Good Wipes. They have a bunch of different scents. These are the ones that are fresh AF. I love the packaging of these because they're just so cute. But also, they're very small and they're easy to just throw into your bag. Sometimes when you're in like a public bathroom um, and you take the toilet paper, it just doesn't feel like enough. So this, um, it smells good. It just makes me feel cleaner on the go. Look at the packaging, it says classy and sassy. Yeah, I'm both. Like, how cute is that? Plus, the packaging and the wipe itself is biodegradable, you can flush it. I've been using these on the go for a very long time and I love them, and they are a must. Like, I love these. Another product that is really good for refreshing throughout the day, you guys have seen me mention this in my other feminine hygiene, like pamper routine video. This is the Empress Body Hydrate Mist. 
This is actually a mist that you can spray anywhere on your body. So you can spray it on your underarms, you can spray it down there, you can spray it on your feet. It's all natural, it's very gentle, and it pretty much just helps to neutralize odor. Like I said, I do not recommend just spraying perfume or spraying a body spray over top of odor that's already there without trying to get rid of it first because you're just gonna be trying to mask a smell. But with this, it literally helps to neutralize the odor and get rid of bacteria. It smells like very, it smells very light and hydrating. You can even use it on your face, like, to rehydrate your skin. To me, like this is just an all over must have spray on the go. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. And last but not least, another spray that's very similar to this one, but it's designated for your cookie area is this Fresh Cookie Mist from Sweet Cookies. I've mentioned this brand on my channel previously. I used to use their foaming wash before I switched to, um, before I switched to the Honey Pot. But recently, I've just been loving this spray. On the back, it pretty much says it's a fine mist spray designed to moisturize and refresh in the most sensitive cookies. You can use it after the gym, after a party, or after a shower. Again, it helps to neutralize odor. And it's literally only two ingredients. It's just rose water and aloe vera. I don't know if you guys can see, but like my jar is literally, it's all the way down here because I use this so much. This might be TMI as well, but this spray also gets me like moist down there, if you know what I'm saying. So this is really good to use before you're gonna be intimate. Plus it smells good. It just makes me feel so fresh. Like I said, it's very similar to this spray, but the only reason why I'm telling you guys about both is because this is designed just for, you know, the down there area. This can be used down there or it can be used all over. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. I hope that I could introduce you to some new products or some new tips that can help you out. Don't forget to check out Simford. I will link it down below and I'll also put my coupon code down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hopefully I'll see you guys all in my next video.